We are back with the Fox News Alert. This is a live look inside the Washington Hilton at the National Prayer Breakfast in Washington. Rabbi Marvin Hare speaking right now. President is expected to speak in a little bit. They're a little behind schedule. When he does, we will bring you back to the Hilton Live. 3,000 people in attendance there. This has been a tradition since 1953, the second National Prayer Breakfast for this administration. Uh, Langford of Oklahoma is now at the podium. In the meantime, let's bring in Diamond and Silk, social media stars and as you know from back in the campaign big trump supporters ladies good morning good to morning both of you. thank good you good morning thank you for having us well it's it's nice that we're uh, waiting for the national prayer breakfast um uh, just out of curiosity you, you know uh, we were going to ask you about his address after he had made it but it's before what would you like to hear from him today well, the fact that he's still standing up for Christians, people that believe in God, and he's unapologetic about it, and that's what we love. Um, just to know that our religious freedoms are protected, they're not mocked, how the left mocked us, and we still believe in God. That's we right. don't want to take God out of the equation. We want to keep him in the equation. That's right. All right. All right, what did you think about um, Eric Holder? He, he was speaking at a forum or um, conference, and someone asked him, plans for politics? And he said, yeah, maybe. And then someone said, how about for president? And he said, yeah, maybe, basically is what he said. So we've got Oprah, possibly Joe Biden, and now Eric Holder. You know, why would anybody vote for Eric Holder when he couldn't even uh, uh, finish his term because he had to step down mm -hmm. because of that gun running scheme? Mm -hmm. That's what he should have been talking about. That's right. And see, anybody that can't be transparent, why would yeah. we vote them into office? He wasn't transparent then. He won't be transparent if he ever get voted That's in. Right. And no, we don't need to vote for anybody like that. Yeah. They can't tell us the truth about what happened with guns, that those guns go back to the hood where people are killing up each other. Mm. I mean, if he can't be transparent, right. then he can't be our president. And we're yeah. not interested in another well-rehearsed experience at being a corrupt politician. Right. I don't think he's going to run on that platform. I'll be well-rehearsed, uh, corrupt politician. But I do think that uh, he was he didn't actually step down because of the gun running program, uh, but he did get himself in trouble for it. But they didn't think that he actually did it uh, on fast and furious. Yeah, fast and furious. But that's not why he stepped uh -huh. down. That's not why he just felt, felt he was finished. Uh, meanwhile, House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi uh, took eight hours and seven minutes to say she's disappointed. There's no DACA uh, fix in the new budget bill. What's your reaction? Well, you know, we don't understand that she could stand up and speak for DACA dreamers for eight hours, yet she sat down on the fact that black unemployment were at its all-time low. Mm -hmm. That's what we don't understand. We wish that she would stand up for the American dreamers, right. but it's obviously that she won't. Listen, the president has already throw the, threw the deal on the table. Mm -hmm. Either she can come to the table and she can deal, he's thrown the dice, or the mm -hmm. Democrat and her party, they're going to have to pay a heavy price. That's right. He's already put it out there. Come on, let's deal. If not, keep the bus to moving. Mm -hmm. That's right. Well, while she was speaking yesterday, she did tell many, many stories because, you know, you got to stay on your feet. She did that for over eight hours. She did tell this one story, and we wanted to get a diamond and silk analysis of it on the other side of the soundbite. I'm reminded of them. Um my own grandson. He had a very close friend whose name is Antonio, who's from Guatemala, and he has beautiful tan skin and beautiful brown eyes and the rest. And um, this was such a proud day for me because when my grandson blew out the candles on his cake, they said, did you make a wish? And he said, yes, I made a wish. He said, well, what is your wish? He said, I wish I had brown skin and brown eyes like Antonio. <laughs> so beautiful. So beautiful. The beauty is in the mix. So, Diamond and Silk, what did you make of that story? Well, you know, it looked like her grandson wants to be different. You know, that's a personal problem. Why is she bringing that on the floor? Why do we need to hear about that? Mm -hmm. You know, I think Nancy Pelosi, she's really out of touch. She's out of touch with the American people. That's she's right. out of touch with America. She's even out of touch with her own people that were sitting behind her because they were falling off to sleep. That's it right. is time for Nancy Pelosi to pack her little knapsack and go home, retire. That's she's right. done. And if you're interested in having different eyes and different skin, they have spray on tan and they have contact lenses. You have to hand it to her. She stood for eight hours in four inch heels, ladies. She stood for eight hours, but look at who she was standing for. That's, That's right. what I don't understand. Yeah. She was standing for DACA and not standing for, she couldn't stand for the American people. 
That's right. That is appalling. I'm offended by that as an American. Exactly. She should be standing for people doing things the right way. You know, these individual DACA children who are DACA adults have the opportunity to do it the right way. Stand for eight hours for them doing it the right way, like everybody else did it. What do that say to the people that got in line, waited that turn, and did it the right way? Well, the president of the United States himself has said he would like to solve the DACA deal, so stay tuned for that. Diamond and Silk, thank you very much for joining Thanks, us ladies. live today. Great to see you.